Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I literally just watched the premiere of the last video where I read most of this, shared how much I loved it. I'm gonna finish this tonight and then we are getting into my rollovers pick, which for the beginning of the month is Sleigh Bells Ring by Ray and Thane. And this was a bookmas book that I didn't get to that I then drew from my rollovers bag. There it is. So I am going to get back into this, finish this up finish this up and then if I get all of these done, all of these, these whole two books, if I get these done in this video then I will draw another book from that rollovers bag and we're just gonna read as much as I can between now and Friday. It's Wednesday night, it's like 6 45 so I feel like I have time. Fingers crossed. My goal is to read, oh my gosh, do I dare say I want to read three books in this video? We'll see. I definitely, definitely want to finish these two and draw another book. Let's leave it at that. Maybe not get too crazy. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Okay, guys, I just finished When God Says Wait. Tabbed it like crazy. You can very well tell. I love the colors of this, but I just have to point out that the purple is like this paper tab and they're both post-it brands but this doesn't stay as well as these do and I cut them so that I can use them longer and I also fun fact I don't know if you can tell but I like trim the edge so it's flat instead of rounded like that <laughs> the things I'm doing to try to use up my existing tabs before I buy new ones because apparently I'm now becoming a booktuber tabbing book person. I've always been an annotator. I've always written in my books, but now, now we're getting the pretty tabbing vibes. <laughs> anyway, five stars for this book. So good. I was crying. I didn't film it, but I was like tears <laughs> running down my face when she was sharing her story at the end. And it just, oh my gosh just the way that she shares this and how it just reminds you of God's goodness, even in really difficult situations. I just love this book so much. This is one that I, I feel like I say this for a lot of books, but this is one that I for sure know that I will come back to time and time again for years to come because it's so practical in any season of life we're always going to be wanting we're always going to be waiting for something and I feel like I have enough quotes noted for any life circumstance ever <laughs> so guys if I could tell you to read one book make it this one like please just go get this and read it it's amazing I need to cut this one tab it's too long and it's starting to bend I put some like actual tabs on my Amazon wish list, but I am trying to use up the ones I have before I buy those. So for now we cut the tabs. <laughs> anyway. Also, I just have to say, I love the fact that I've had this book forever. And yet it seems like now was the perfect time to read it because I don't think I'd have appreciated it as much way back then when I first got it as I do now. So I went on Goodreads and I added a bunch of this author's book. She has one, she has one that says when God says go. I'm super interested in that one. Um, she also has one that says when God says no. <laughs> that seems like the one that I'm now gonna be putting off for the next seven years. So stay tuned if we're still on booktube way in the future. <laughs> Maybe I'll read that one in like 2030. Who knows? Um, no, but <laughs> it also has some teen books and she has a fiction book that she mentioned in this one that I would really like to read just to like, first of all, just to support her because I think she's awesome. And second of all, because I like books and I like to add stuff to my Goodreads that I may or may not ever read. Anyone relate? I don't know. Now. It is time to get back into Slaybo's ring, which means, guys, I've been doing this fun thing. I don't know if you can tell, like, it doesn't look like it there, but that is actually paint. I'm trying this new thing where, like, you know, I use the colorful tabs that match the book. I'm also, like, having my ambiance atmosphere light match the book. So I need to find a blue light. Let's see if we can do that. 
let's find a blue light. That's blue. What if I, that's perfect. Yes, the winter vibes are here. I wish you guys could see it more. You can see it when I have the light off, but I'm just gonna switch back and forth between having the light on and off because I don't wanna fall asleep. And I'm really trying to get used to holding my camera horizontally because it just looks better, but it's a little bit more shaky. So let me know which one you guys like better if you have a preference. But anyway, sleigh bells ring. I don't know why I always hold this book sideways. It's just the way it feels great sideways. Sleigh bells ring. I left off on chapter nine during bookmas. So we're going to dive back into this and enjoy the floppy, floppy book. And honestly, I would love to finish this tonight if at all possible. We shall see. It's about 9.15 right now. So I have time. We'll see what happens. Did the girl who doesn't like the helping baby animals trope just connect with the story over some baby animals? Yes. However, I also just want to point out I'm not hugely fond of the writing style. And let me just give you an example of what I'm talking about. She hurried that way and found several utility cabinets lined up along a wall. Period. One was labeled paper products, period. She found the paper towels easily, period. I don't care about all that. Like, I want the story to flow surrounding the plot. The details need to be meaningful, not just she found the paper towels. <laughs> like, uh, so I'm struggling with the writing style. I'm struggling to connect, but I did really enjoy this baby animal moment. I'm not going to say what happened, but it was very sweet. And I somewhat enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm now on chapter 11, so we'll see where we go from here. I don't love this angle, but it is what it is. Okay. I am on page 179. There's a quote that says, we've been here a day and a half and so far nobody seems to be dying of boredom. And literally when I read, read that, I, I went like this. <laughs> I am wanting so much more from this and honestly, I'm just bored. And the, the way that the most interesting part of this book so far has been taking care of baby animals. Like, if you know me, you know. What is my hair doing? Get some bell vibes there. There we go. <laughs> anyway, I want more from this. Dying of boredom might be a little traumatic, but we're getting there. We're getting, we're getting close. <laughs> No, but okay. Another quote. I think I'll go work out. Maybe I can go hit the bike in the gym. I haven't done enough physical exercise today. Who talks like this? Do you talk like this? I haven't done enough physical exercise today. What? And then, okay, this is the other thing that gets me. The kids. They're supposed to be six years old. And... The way that they speak, I don't, I, I work with a lot of kids, specifically three to six year olds. I don't know a single six year old who talks the way these kids talk. It's really just like overly formal, overly like trying to be really, I don't know, like almost confident or sassy or something. I don't even know, but it's really annoying me because I don't know any kids that talk like this. 
I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> I really, really, really wanted to like this book. Why is it always the books that I love the cover? Like, look at that beautiful cover. I'm looking on the wrong side of my phone. Look at that beautiful cover. Oh, so pretty. It's so floppy. I love the feel of this book, love the cover, and yet it's not giving me what I want. Give me what I want, I tell you. I haven't done enough physical exercise today, <laughs> but same. One positive thing I will say, because I don't want to be like rude and whatever. First of all, I know people love this book and I know people love this author. So if you're interested in trying it, try it. I just don't love it. But I do love the main characters. I think they are really sweet and I totally ship them. And I wish the book was more focused on them because very, sim very similar to The Guest Cottage. Too many side characters not really following the main point. Which I guess if you're like a character re based reader... Maybe you'll enjoy all the side characters, but I want the main characters. That's why I read the book. I want them, their story, not much else. I am enjoying a main character conversation between the two MCs and here for that because they're cute, but most of it, um, yeah. That's all. Also editing Sandra here. Hey, how are you? Um, I just wanted to say I do appreciate this book because it is a clean closed door romance. So if you're looking for that, try it out. I just wish that the storyline itself was more interesting to me. Okay, guys, I've not been cleaning. I've not been cleaning. I've not been reading because I've been cleaning. And I'm currently about to tackle this. This spot of my room that I haven't dealt with in like a year. So let's do what we did the other month. Was that during Bookmas, I think? Where I like literally went through my stacks of books and told you everything I had. Let's do that because you guys seem to, you guys seem to enjoy that. So first things, we have this Q&A book that I've still not finished, and I think I got it the year I graduated college, so that's awkward. Then I have my Russia book, which this I bought whenever I traveled to Russia. So I haven't actually like sat down and read it, but I've read parts of it. Real. Choosing Real. This is one that was 100% a cover buy for me. The only reason that I keep it is here in, yeah, that page. Here in the back, there's like this really awesome gift giving tradition that they do. And I just feel like that's so brilliant. The way that they have something worn, something read, something sung, something experienced, something played, and something made. So fun. So I keep it for that reason, but like the rest of the book wasn't my favorite. So I'm putting this in a maybe pile. Circle Maker, we love this. Yes, I, I feel like I should reread this because I don't remember it as much as I would like to. Honors Reward, we love. How did I get here? I just remember reading this super quickly and it was very relatable at the time. Rewriting Your Broken Story, we love. The Wedding Dress, that's a Rachel Hawk book, love it. Karen Kingsbury, A Time to Dance, we love this. This is my favorite book by her. Mystery of the Shemitah. I love this. Um, this was nonfiction. Yeah. This 2021? 2020? Don't remember. My Fixing My Eyes on Jesus devotional. I did this devotional year before last. Drawing so, Mirror. I'm torn on keeping this one because I love the video series, but I don't love this the study book. And that's kind of unfortunate, but I think that's going to go in the maybe pile as well. This one too. I, I really liked this when I read it, but I got it for free and I feel like it was a good one-time read, but I need to look at it and see if I really want to keep it for anything or if that can go. A paradigm we love. 
glorious appearing. I talked about this in my TBR video. This is my now favorite Left Behind book, but the one that's on my February TBR was my favorite Left Behind book before this one came out. This is the last in the series, technically, although there have been some other books added. The Most Beautiful Disaster, we love, we keep. Seven from Heaven, we love, we keep. This is like the first like adult book that I remember reading and just loving so much. So much 90s vibes. I can't even, but yeah. Like I was a kid when I read that. It's a fighting for life. We love this. Breaking the cycle of divorce. This one had some good quotes. I'm not sure. I'm going to put it in this pile. Joan of Arc. This is like coffee table book vibes, but I will never actually read this probably. Even though one year for Bookmas, I tried to read it. LOL, that was funny. Uh, let me know if you remember that. Okay, then we have this stack. So we have 100 Best Love Poems. I believe this was my book for my 8th grade poetry class that I loved. So we keep that. I'm going to just make a stack right here. Do you think I'm beautiful? I think I got this for graduation. Whoops graduation or christmas yeah graduation good morning good life we love this the embraced devotional i would love to get the full size this was just like a sample that i got at a conference that lisa turkers was speaking at so we love that my arm's getting sore okay <laughs> rival to the queen you'll hear me mention this this is what i was thinking of with the betrothed that i read earlier this month i don't know i just love a royal vibe it's just great <laughs> even though i like this like the main character's actions better in this book than that one i just love that vibe all right destination jerusalem this is so good we keep this the harbinger i love that um this i read this during book list two years ago so enjoyable. This was really, really good. Just a little tiny book. It's called Revolutionary Women from Colonists to Suffragists. And I believe there is a, another volume that's like women from the mid 1800s to present times. I may be making that up, but I feel like I saw it. But guys, this was so good. Very, sorry, it's on cinematic. Very just informative, inspiring, amazing. And it's teeny tiny and cute. So, love this. This I wrote in like a little journal, so keep that. Uh, this I got for law school graduation, the practice of the presence of God. I don't know if I noted a whole lot in it, but I remember really enjoying that. Um, we're getting to my Russia books here. Kids Ministry That Nourishes. If you are a kids ministry volunteer leader, staff member, whatever, please read this book. It's amazing. Uh, this one I'd kind of like to reread at some point, so I think I'm going to put this with my books under here, which these are all the books that go to my physical TBR, my TBR cart. So technically I've had this a minute. It would just be a reread, so it can go right here on the top. I just remember really enjoying it. Um, it was part of a politics and religion in Russia class that I took. And yeah, anyway, Brothers Karamazov. I really enjoyed reading this while also watching Christy Lewis. Christy and her friends were talking through this whole book and did like live shows about it. And that was just such an enjoyable experience to read this and then watch the live show after each part. It was so fun. Love that. Anna Karenina, one day I will finish. LOL. I think I'm just gonna probably skip over these for right now, but I have a bunch, bunch down there. So they're all like Russia books. I could go through these if you want me to, but I think I'm gonna stop there because I'm not gonna go through and read any of them anytime soon unless things change. So. There's that. I'm putting them all back. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> okay, just a little update. I think I'm going to keep Breaking the Cycle of Divorce. This was an old college book, and I have some notes in here that I'd like to, like, keep. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold on to that. 
but I do think I'm gonna unhaul Choosing Real, even though I love this cover and I, I took a picture of that gift giving tradition. I need to like write it down somewhere special because I just love that. I feel like that makes things so fun to have like multiple things in a present. But this was super good. I enjoyed it. I just don't envision myself rereading it. And if I really, really wanted to, I could just go find it <laughs> or buy it again. Well, I didn't buy it. I got it for free, but I just don't see myself rereading it. And then I think I'm going to let go of this, even though it has my name on it. I'll just cut that off in the corner up there or just like tape it or something. I don't know. But yeah, I just, I have a hard time letting go of this because we did this study in high school, but I obviously didn't take notes on it too much. And I'd rather read like the actual book than hold on to this. So there are three books that can go to little free libraries next time I go to the LFL. I know I mentioned in my little free library video that whenever I reach 250 subscribers, which we're not far away from, I'd like to go to a city that's pretty nearby um, and see their little free libraries because apparently there are a lot of them. I'm waiting on that and it would have to happen in like the next three days, which is probably not going to happen. but. It could <laughs> if you are not subscribed and you want to subscribe and help me out on that. But basically what would happen since I'm not planning on doing a little free library video in March, just because of my mom recovering from surgery, I don't want to be like traveling or um, unnecessarily introducing germs. Um, and then that means that the next one would be in April. So I'm kind of like stacking up a lot of books because I want it to be like really worth my time going out there. So I have quite a few that I've collected of books that we're getting rid of here that, you know, some that I've read, but mostly books. Well, actually, yeah, some that I've read and some that I haven't read, but just like stacking up some books for the little free library videos because I love doing the haul and unhauls and between now and April I'll probably have quite a few more books I think that's gonna be so fun whenever I get to do that but yeah that's gonna be my like little reward for kind of your little reward for subscribing and being part of this channel would be like a really fun adventure going to the city and I'm excited. Sat down to read this, fell asleep. Just finished the first chapter that I've read all day today. And I'm now on chapter 19. The main characters are very sweet. I like them together, but I'm bored. And I'm disappointed by that. That's really all I have to say. Not much else to say. Let's finish this book. Not much more to go. through call pile just to make sure but I think I'm gonna give this a very generous two stars <laughs> if that if that hmm. I liked approximately three things and then the very very ending was okay this is just not for me okay so my call pile came out to like 2.28 and 2.3 is a two star so I'm gonna stick with two stars and then if I feel like lowering it, I will. Yeah, this is boring. Let's go choose the next book. Here's the bag. All right, first book that I touch will be it. Where's a book? <laughs> okay, whatever this is, it's a paperback. It is, I knew it. I knew I was gonna get this, okay. I need to go do a discussion board for my online class 
And then when I finish that, I'm going to probably play The Sims and resume my audiobook of The Fellowship of the Ring. Yay. Something interesting. Thank goodness. It's about 2.30. I just finished listening to The Fellowship of the Ring, but to be honest, I listened on two times speed and I definitely was paying more attention to The Sims than to this book. However, I am just going to keep going. <laughs> I'm going to take out my bookmark. I'm going to count this as having read it because even if I wasn't actively paying attention, my brain was still listening. That's what I'm telling myself. I am now going to draw the next book from the rollover's bag. And then once I draw that book, I'm going to put the two towers into the rollover's bag because that whole series was a rollover. So let's do this. Also, I have a green light right there. Right there. That's green. It doesn't look it, but it is. So that's why I look like I'm from like Oz or something. Okay. The next book will be Disciples Are Made Not Born. This is a short one and I'm hopeful I will be able to get through it quickly tomorrow morning. Fingers crossed. And then get into maybe even another book before this video is over or before I need to edit this video. What am I saying? I don't even know. I'm going to sleep and I'll talk to y'all in the morning. Hey guys, happy Friday. It's Friday. Um, I am here with Disciples Are Made Not Born. It's about 1130 and I'm not feeling that great because yesterday I spent a lot of time cleaning and so I inhaled a lot of dust <laughs> and um, now I'm just having a chill reading time. So let's get into this. Hopefully it'll be a quick read. I'm really, really hopeful for that because the font is pretty big. I wish I'd been filming because I just like started a chapter and I just closed the book. I cannot with this. <sighs> there's some good stuff in here, but there's a lot of stuff that's not good. And that's just really, it's like part of it's true and part of it's just really not biblical. Specifically the way this is called Disciples Are Made Not Born. And I feel like he has spent the majority of this book talking about evangelism. And it's like, it's great, especially if you are someone who that is your spiritual gift. That's wonderful. But that's not what you titled your book. And this is the second book that I've been reading recently that I was really hopeful would be talking about what the title is and doesn't. It just goes off on completely different things. And yet there are some great quotes in here. So I'm very, very frustrated, but I think I'm going to DNF because for one thing, I don't think there's any chance I'm going to finish my TBR. So I'm not going to be like getting a reward for this month which is fine um so it wouldn't affect it and i'd rather just move on to something else because i have a little bit more time before i have to edit this video and i'd like to read a book that i actually like like i'm so glad oh, yeah see it's a sign my bookmarks just fell out <laughs> also my bookmarks being bath and body works and beach vibes anyway knowing who this author's connected with like their organization I could like 99.9% .9 tell you the denomination he's associated with. And so I knew it was going to be very religious, but the just overly religious, but not necessarily biblical vibe is not it for me. So DNF, let's choose something else. Here is the bag. I will just go ahead and preface this and say I did put two towers in here. If I draw that, I will just draw again because I really don't want to pick something that I know I'm not going to have time to read. I'd really like to get something that I can be maybe successful at. 
So let's do this. First book that I touch with my pointer finger. <laughs> yes, I forgot about this one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, is it finally time to reread one of my favorite books? Now, this is my favorite book as a teenager, so I'm not expecting it to be an incredible work of literature, but I'm so excited. <laughs> Finally, a book that I like. <laughs> also, this little adorable, I'm using it as a bookmark. It's a bracelet that came in the Valentine's card my mom gave me, but I just think it's the cutest thing for like a bookmark. It also reminds me of a bubble wand, but yeah, got the patriotism and the Valentine's Day. Anyway, just in case you're at all curious. The way this book still hits, <laughs> although it's definitely very like cringy, like like teen writing. I mean, she's supposed to be 19, but she sounds like she's 12, but I still love it. Can we talk about how the main character majored in the same thing as me and I had no idea because I ended up majoring in something that I wasn't planning on majoring going into college. And that's just wild to me. I love this book. <laughs> By the way, guys, just want to say I went ahead and posted on my community page the poll for the series that I will read in March. I always ask you guys what you want me to read out of four options. And I'd never share this, but I actually go through a process of like, I have a whole list of series that I want to finish or that I want to read that I haven't started yet. And I put that whole list in a randomizer wheel and I just like narrow it down to the four options. So it was quite a process. So I did that. Yeah, I did that and I posted on my community page the four options. The thing with this book is it's very, it's very 2004, which is the year that it was published um, in the in terms of the clothes that they wear, the way that they talk, the humor, and the way it addresses serious issues. It's very, very early 2000s. If that's what you're wanting, like, here you go. <laughs> like, this is what it was like. <laughs> but I love it so much. There are only issues with it. It's, like I said, not the greatest piece of literature ever, but it's, I love it. <laughs> so I read a little bit more and then I gotta edit. Yes, I've gotta get started on my Twisted Tales reading because I have three days to read all my ebooks <laughs> and before they have to go back, maybe I have four days. But the video has to go up in three. So anyway, I'm gonna go eat and then I'm gonna come back to this lovely gem and then we'll wrap it up here. Okay guys. I am going to stop here. I got up to chapter 8. I mean, I'm going to continue reading, but I have to get this video edited. So we're stopping here for this video. I'll absolutely finish this. I love this book. I think you guys got that point by now. Everything that I accomplished in this rollovers bag video. Plus this one. I'm pretty happy with myself. I mean, yeah, I didn't enjoy Sleigh Bell's Ring. I barely paid attention to Fellowship of the Ring, which I'm disappointed because a lot of people, this is their favorite of the series. And so at some point, I definitely want to go back and like reread it, re-listen to it. Disciples are made not born. We DNF'd that. That'll get unhauled. And then of course, I'm going to finish off I Do tonight. Oops. This was very successful, I think. I'm pretty happy about it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Have you read any of these? Do you want to read any of these? have any opinions whatsoever um, and then subscribe if you have not already because you don't want to miss the next video which is reading the series that you guys voted for me to read in February 
which is none other than Disney Twisted Tales. This is the only hard copy that I have. Once, once was mine. This is the Rapunzel retelling. So excited about it. But I also have quite a few others that are on ebook form that I will be reading. So stay tuned for Monday's video. If you love Disney or Twisted Tales, just stay tuned. It's going to be great. Anyway, with that, that's everything for this video. And I will talk to you on Monday.